Hey everyone, welcome back to Life After Neverland. I'm Corinne and today we're going to be talking about Supernatural episode 19. Our prior episodes, we did some fun watch parties leading up to the season finale starting this evening. Okay, so it's tonight. Oh my gosh. Uh, but we decided to do our recaps for episode 19 as well as tonight's episode, which we will be putting up for you guys tomorrow. Hopefully if you had fun with the watch parties, we had a great time. We had a wonderful time getting to know some of our community members. And we hope that you guys will join us again on Twitch on Monday mornings at 10 a.m. We actually cover Supernatural. We go back in time. And currently right now we're on season four. So if you're not ready to let go like this chick right here, come and join me on Twitch. We do a live watch party 10 a.m. every Monday morning. And like I said, we are on season four right now and we're going to move all the way to season 15. So hang out with us. You got plenty of time if you'd like to join us. We'd love to have you there. In the meantime, please hit the subscribe button if you like what you're watching and hit that like button. It always helps out our channel. And like I said before, we really do enjoy our community members getting to know you and creating some fun activities so we can have a great time together. Yeah, we love doing that. <laughs> so let's talk about episode 19. Now, we are left without our beloved Castiel, which is extremely heartbreaking. I sobbed like a baby at the watch party. Ugly, snotty tears. It wasn't cute. Castiel is a very beloved character, so I'm pretty sure I wasn't alone on that. <laughs> yeah. So Dean had the terrible uh, burden to break that news to Sam and Jack as Everyone that they have known and loved has completely been raptured and they're all on their own in a world by themselves. And so to see Jack react to that news was definitely heart-wrenching. And it was interesting because they went to a restaurant and everybody literally was raptured. Completely, poof, disappeared. Chuck is still pulling his shenanigans, doing everything he can to try to make Sam and Dean suffer. For example, Dean found this adorable dog, so there was some life left in the world. This beautiful dog, he named him Miracle. He even let Miracle get inside the Impala, which is huge for Dean. And to just watch Dean get excited about some essence of life was beautiful in order for Chuck to just do his little snap and take it away immediately. I'm so over his baby back bitch ways, okay? <laughs> and so then we get to see Lucifer and Michael. Now, at one point you kind of think that maybe they're gonna help the boys out, and of course, what an awkward situation for Jack to see Lucifer. But then you ultimately find out that Lucifer and Michael have daddy issues and they can't really figure out which way they want to go. Do they want to help the Winchester brothers or do they want to be daddy's favorite? Chuck doesn't like that so much. Michael doesn't like that so much. And they ultimately end up being annihilated, blowing up and destroying either each other or God himself destroying them. For example, God was over Michael because at one point he wanted to help the Winchesters, like I said, and then Chuck wanted to have it with that. Uh-uh, he wasn't having it. The only thing that I would have liked, something that I would have liked to have changed, is just this whole storyline. It was just so much smushed into this very last episode here, or second to the last episode here. I would have liked to see this play out within at least four episodes. Because the interaction between Lucifer and Michael and Chuck was nice and had good elements, but I wanted more. I wanted more buildup and I wanted to see more intensity. I really, really did. And I'd love to know what you guys think about that. The only thing I could thank Lucifer for is creating a new death, which is very helpful because death is the only one that can read the book to Chuck's freaking demise. Thank you. I wish I could say God, but I can't. <laughs> thank you, Lucifer. Jeez. Then we have Jack who keeps walking by plant life. And even in the last episode, he had a little planty down below that you know, it died when he put his hand near it. So we discovered that he has that power vacuum gift that Billy left behind for him. So that's a bonus. Jump to Michael betraying the Winchester brothers and basically kissing Chuck's arse, okay? On top of that, Chuck kicks the Winchester's asses like no one could ever imagine. He's breaking their arms, he's kicking them in the balls, he's breaking their legs, he's punching them time and time and time again. Yet our boys 
are taking a licking and they keep on kicking and they still look hot as ever, okay? But the thing that was amazing was that all along they were prepared for Jack's power vacuum to take over God's powers and literally suck them all into himself. What I loved about this scene was that the brothers never lost their spirits, no matter how many times Chuck broke them down and literally broke their bones. And they were helping each other up each time, which it just shows how Sam and Dean are always there for each other, no matter what, no matter how beaten down they truly are. And Chuck could not win. Chuck couldn't win and they weren't gonna let him win. And then Chuck started to break down. And then of course, we have Jack there to save the day. Jack's takedown of Chuck was epic and instead of killing him they basically depowered him and he became human so now he's left on earth to suffer just like the rest of us which is basically all of the things that he was doing to sam and dean now he gets a taste of his own karma amazing so ultimately you guys jack ends up being god he's the new god which most of us kind of already predicted so it wasn't a huge surprise for me but a pleasant surprise. I very much expected Dean to sacrifice himself for everyone. Now what's really bizarre about this is that this is not the final episode so I really don't know what's going to end up happening tonight since we ended on a happy note. We even were able to say goodbye to Jack. I felt like it was almost like E.T. to me. <laughs> sending him off on his merry way. Even though he will be present, he will be in everything. Jack will be there. I think the world will be a much better, happier place now that Jack is in charge. So we can all feel good. Happy, good feelings across the board. And we had a ton of beautiful memories of our boys from the very beginning. So it was like a montage of everything that our boys have been through, all the people that they've met, some of the struggles, and some of the beautiful moments. So I really enjoyed this episode. The only comment that I would have to say that is negative about this episode is that I really truly feel some of the episodes that we don't mind Enzo playing with the cats <laughs> in the background what's new. <laughs> but anyways, some of the episodes that they had this season, I could have done without. And I would have loved to have seen this play out much more. Give me at least five episodes of the lead up to this, especially with Lucifer and Michael in the picture. I really would have liked to have seen this. And I think the whole idea of Jack being a power vacuum is so, so cool. So I just wanted more. I wanted more of that. Please let me know, you guys, in the comments down below what you thought. Again, thank you so much. I'm just going to wrap up real quick because I'm going to watch this episode tonight and see what's going to happen. I mean, what could happen? It's a two-hour episode. What's going to happen? We already ended on a happy note. We wrapped everything up in a fine little tight bow. Merry Christmas to Corinne. A happy ending. We didn't lose Dean. We did lose Cass. But you know what? Would we get Cass back? I don't know. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Thank you for all of your support on our channel. We're so grateful for you. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with episode 20. And I look forward to chatting with you guys about it. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Talk to you soon. Mwah! Have a great day or night. Bye.